Hey, what's going on guys? This is part two of this day-to-day -day or daily life of a software developer in the agile setting. Agile setting. Um, if you just came from part one, we're going to start talking about these next two points. Um, ticketing and a typical day. Um, if you're coming here and you haven't seen part one, please just go back and watch it and this video will make a lot more sense. All right, so that's your intro. Um, we already kind of talked about ticketing and I mentioned we use this system called JIRA but I just want to talk about it um, a little more in depth here and just go over what it really means and how crappy and how important it is at the same time. So pretty much as a developer you're kind of living inside this ticketing system for most of your day because it's tracking everything you're doing. It should be tracking everything you're doing and if it's not then it's not a very good ticketing system or it's not being used well but pretty much you're living inside this thing every day and it's keeping up with all your progress so it's pretty important and if it's used well it can it's definitely a requirement so but as we said every sprint as a developer you'll have a set of tickets representing what you're working on so you'll have a queue of tickets like all this big list of work that you have to do and every sprint, maybe your team lead or you, you'll pick different types of tickets to work on. Um, and that's pretty much your day-to-day -day job. Like, there's a huge backlog of tickets. People file them. They're like, this shit doesn't work. Fix it. And that turns into a ticket. And pretty much what your job to do is to take all those tickets, figure out what you can do, what other people will do, divide it up between a bunch of sprints, and just get it done. So yeah a lot of people are living inside the system um, and my last point about ticketing is that most managers or people who aren't really on the ground floor or coding they only look at the ticketing system to kind of figure out what's happening with the project so you can imagine like the leads or the managers or PMs that have to keep track of how the project is doing they're not looking at the code like they don't know yeah, this guy added 2,000 lines today, or that guy added 50 lines today, he fucking sucks. Oh, sorry. But everything, like, the managers will look at the ticketing system and how the tickets are progressing to see how the team is doing. Because, remember, the tickets track literally everything. Like, open, closed tickets, rejected tickets, in progress, completed, verified, all this all these crazy states and statuses you can anything under the sun that you can think of this system is going to track it so I just want to it sounds really crappy and most developers just hate the system but it's undeniably really important when the team gets really big so that's why I just wanted to give it a little bit of talking point here so I think that's enough about ticketing it's not that sexy um, now let me make a all right, so this is, I guess, what it can finally culminate to, which is maybe having a typical day discussion. Now that we kind of went through three major points in the Agile, for Agile development, we can kind of go through what a typical day was like um, for any developer. So like what I kind of have here is my typical day, more or less, kind of generalized. Wake up, go to work, always drink coffee, um, usually if it's Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, uh, we would do our stand-up meeting, which would be those, remember, those short two to three minute, everyone talks about two to three minutes and syncs up in the morning and just make sure everyone is on the same page and nobody has any blocking issues. So, and then when the day starts, there's pretty much three big categories of what I could potentially do. Um, I made another video called types of work and I would say that's also like a really relevant to this point so if you haven't seen that go check that out in my channel it's kind of like different types of work you might do as it relates to coding so uh, ch check it out later if you haven't so so let's just talk about um, D E and F um, as they're really kind of broad categories so um, the first category is uh, coding time. So this is the first because it's 
by default, what everybody assumes they're going to do as a software developer, you know, wake up, drink coffee, start coding. It's probably the most basic and most common thing you'll do. And what code time means, this is not really a phrase, I just made it up. Um, this is pretty much when your head's down coding just to get features done. You got a shit ton of tickets, you have like a hundred tickets to do because your boss is super aggressive or something and you're just, you have the blinders on and it's raw development time and you're just coding. So it's actually pretty easy. Sometimes this is actually a luxury if you can have some coding time because you can just sit by yourself, get some stuff done and you know, coding can be fun contrary to popular belief. Um, okay, so besides coding time, there's also sometimes design time and sometimes we can get caught up in doing a lot of design work. And what is design? Well, this is stuff that's not really coding. It's anything but coding. So this involves software design, going to meetings, talking with people. Um, this is planning out different things to do before you start coding. Um, doing code reviews, designing your milestones. So this is pretty much just organizing and planning the attack. Because remember, um, you can't just jump into code time right away. If you're not synced up with your peers, if you haven't designed the system well, if you go straight to code time too quickly, you're just going to F up the system. So there's also a good amount of time spent on design work. And pretty much when I say design time, it's anything that's not coding, but still helping out the system. So all this stuff is really important. Um, last big category that I put here is um, firefighting, which is another common thing that developers do. Um, this is just when shit hits the fan, this is how you handle it. Um, I wouldn't really consider it feature development, but this is when something big is happening and we have to scramble to get it done. So like fixing urgent issues or preparing for big releases, I put under this category as like firefighting because it's like there's a fire and you have to put it out. Like something really important has just happened and everybody is on like red alert to fix it. So this is also, you know, more common than you think. Like code time is really calm time. This is also pretty calm, but you know, every now and then, um, you know, F, F happens, the fires, and that could be part of your day as well. So um, yeah, those are three general categories. Um, and there's probably so many more than this, but you know, these are like three big ones that you might just do on your typical day. Um, G, you know, there's always gonna be meetings meetings, meetings, and more meetings. Hopefully if the, the team is like, you know, organized well, there's not gonna be too many of these meetings and they're actually useful. It's pretty easy to get caught up in some like useless meetings. You hear the same thing like over and over again, but you know it happens and it's just part of your day. So I'm putting it here because it's definitely a part of their typical day. Obviously you gotta take some breaks, like drink more coffee or something, but yep. I don't even know if this is relevant, but please take breaks. And after you take breaks, you just rinse and repeat from A to G. And that's about it. And then once you rinse and repeat long enough, you just go home for the day. So that, I didn't realize how this would sound after I said it, but it sounds a little silly. But I have been asked many times what the typical day is like. And I guess this is my best shot at explaining what it was like during this time period when I was working on this ad inside this agile environment. So, um, yeah, that's about it guys. So, um, I guess final takeaways from this video is that I've worked on a few teams so far. Like I'm still like, as you guys know, I'm very early in the software career, but these two years was just, a part of my career where I was under this agile thing, but it hasn't been the only software methodology that I've been, you know, a part of. Um, before 2012, I was working in embedded software, which was like slow, slow, slow development, and it wasn't agile at all. 
And that type of development was actually much, much different than everything I laid out here. Um, but I think Agile is actually probably the most common way software is developed these days now, you know, in 2016 and beyond. So I thought this, these points would probably be the most relevant. Um, yeah. Um, okay, so just finally to also wrap the video, um, if anybody is offended or disagrees with anything here, I just want to reiterate that this is just one example out of many of one of the ways that a team could run their software development. Like even within the world of Agile, you could do this like a thousand different ways. So none of this that we talked about is set in stone at all. So it's all really, really subjective, but hopefully just, you know, hopefully I'm hoping that after you guys watch me talk through all this stuff, it just gives you a rough baseline of what a typical day might be like for a software developer that's involved in this. And, you know, I hope it's helpful. So it's just a little insight of what I went through for two years, you know. I went through, pretty much did all this crap, well, not crap, sorry, but all this stuff for a good two years, or it was about 20 months, but yeah, it was a good time. So um, I hope you, all right, so I hope you guys enjoyed both these videos, part one and part two. Please give me a like if you enjoyed it. Um, obviously, I don't have my equipment, and that's why I'm on my screencast again. But if you have any comments, just leave me a comment or drop me an email if you want to just contact me directly and I'll respond. But again, hope this video was helpful. Hope everyone has a great week and take care. All right. See you later.